Hello, good day and welcome. My name is Michael Manuel James and this is Mad Mix Conspiracies. So now, um, it's been sent to me again today, it was sent to me a couple of times yesterday. The video of Aldi in London, where you can only get in if you scan your app on your mobile phone. No big deal. Shoplifters, I guess. Stops people swarming in the shop, walking out with whatever they want. You've got to scan in. You scan all your shopping, you go out. It's a bit of an issue, right? A bit of an issue for a number of reasons. And they've done it in all the big shops now. You, if you have the app on your phone, you get 30%, up to 30 to 50% off your prices. Even then, with that money off, it only takes it to fucking 30, 40% higher than what it was before the COVID anyway. But if you don't have the app, it's ridiculously expensive. So you have to have the app just so that you can afford to feed your children. It's that simple. It's not a question of choice. It's not a question of, oh, well, you know, I don't like having an app on my phone, so I'm not going to do it. If you want to fucking feed your children with the money that you've got coming into your household every week, then you have to have the app. Okay? It's that fucking simple. It's not rocket science. So you put the app on your phone for your favourite store. Mine happens to be Audi. Although the Audi round the end doesn't have that yet, so I don't have the app on my phone. But, to get cheap food, you put the app on your phone. Cheaper food, not cheap food, cheaper food. You put the app on your phone, not the end of the world. And then eventually, every Audi, every Asda, every Tesco's, every every shop, as those entry points to get in, where you scan your app on your phone. No big deal, you still get your shopping. So everyone else has to do the same thing. Then there becomes a problem. And the problem comes down the line. The problem ain't this week, next week, or the week after. No, no, no. The problem is, going back to my video yesterday, what the World Health Organization have told us. That they want to track all our vaccination status which we know that every vaccination in the future will be mRNA or the bioweapon or graphene oxide or whatever you want to call it now here's the problem you're an anti-vaxxer you've got the app on your phone so you can have cheap food but you're an anti-vaxxer and you try to get into Asda to buy food eh, eh. no the computer he says no you see, the computer now says no, because the computer knows that you is an anti-vaxxer. So you go to Asda, you go to Al no, sorry, no entry for you dirty, nasty anti-vaxxers who are spreading disease amongst everybody. You can't come in our shop. So, like the last lockdown, the last pretend fake fucking pandemic, it was a breeze. We went into Asda without our masks on, you know, we went into all these places where they said, oh, you've got to have your vaccine passport, you've got to have your vaccine status. No, we fucking don't. We do what the hell we want. Because that was back then, in the, back in the 20s, 2020, in the olden days. But the future pandemic, because of those barriers at Audi that will be at every shop, if you do not have your vaccine status, you do not get in the shop and you do not eat food. Well, you eat food if you grow it. You eat food if you hunt it and kill it yourself. But you do not buy food. This is the part of what is happening. Slowly, slowly, one shop, two shops, all the shops, and then eventually you can't shop in here. You've been a naughty citizen. You've used too much carbon. You can't come in this shop. Now I know there's lots of people talking about... Um, starting our own communities and buying and selling our own food with each other which is expensive because let's have it right it's expensive enough buying it from a multi-conglomerate like fucking Asda or Audi we can't hardly afford that so how the fuck are we going to afford to buy it off the farmer down the road who's charging 10 times the price it's right for the rich people but what about those who want bennies what about those who have got three kids to feed and can barely put a meal on the table seven days a week? They've got to have the app on the phone until the fucking next scandemic. And then, sorry, 
you can't shop in our shop because you haven't had your messenger RNA gene therapy injection. That's the future, guys. That's the future. It's not today. It's not today. But it is the future, and we've seen that from that shop in London. Once, and then, and then there's the thing, right? <laughs> Going back to my video yesterday, then there's the thing. All right, um, my nan's jabbed up, so I'll borrow her mobile phone and I'll go and do my shopping with her mobile phone. Because she's jabbed up, it'll scan, I'll get in, no problem. Okay, yeah, you could do that once or twice, but then they, they invent the new problem. Oh, no, we can't have that because anti-vaxxers are getting in with other people's mobile phone. So it needs to be on their personage. It needs to be the quantum dot tattoo. You see how it's going? Each step is a step into this dystopia that they want us to live in. Each step. So it's cheap food today. Yeah, and we're prisoners of it. We have to buy it. Because we can't afford to fucking shop in Waitrose and buy the gourmet shit. We have to buy the fucking Asda's value shit. That's how our life is. But eventually, you'll need your biometric digital ID, i.e. mark of the beast, on your person to get in and to buy food. And they're just fucking, you know, it's as obvious as the nose on your face. But for now, it's no big deal. For now, you've got a mobile phone. It's like the people that, that have got this big issue with banks and cash. So they go to the bank to draw the cash out, to spend it in a shop. Go figure. <laughs> if you've got a mobile phone and you want to put cheap food on the table for your kids, then put the fucking app on your phone. Because today, it doesn't matter. It matters when they say you can't come in our shop because you're not jabbed up or because you're not a good citizen. But like I said, that ain't today. Watch this space, guys. It's coming to a fucking Asda near you. Protect yourselves and your family from all of the above. It's goodbye from me and goodbye from me.